Hello YouTube, I'm going to make an update video here, and never mind the blower fan I have, of the Craftsman. Here's the Craftsman LT1036, still working on making the steering work. If you look in there, you can see this is a, well, if some people, well, some people will regularly work on all tractors, may realize that was originally a steering assembly that came out of something such as a Craftsman LT4000 slash LT1000. Well, as you can see, this is not either of those. In fact, this is a much older AYP, it's Craftsman LT1036, I have other videos up on my channel. A lot of people who have seen the video know that is not the original engine that it came with. It just says 10 horse and it says Craftsman, but it did not come off of this. It's currently held on with two bolts, but... Yeah, I figured I'd make an update video of it. Uh, also, and other things, Snapper 2000 gx slash... I don't know what his current channel name is. Uh, he has an engine here, it's a Kohler Magnum 18 Twin. Seems quite fun. It's just worn out and makes oil everywhere. It also has his gravely garden tractor here. He lives in Galeen. I'm not going to give away his name, even though a lot of people know it. Yeah, he has a gravely 8122. Yeah, paid a lot more for this than he should have. But, anyways, go ahead and I guess I'll hook it up and try and start up. I can turn on the fuel. Got battery cables and everything. Oh, wait, I forgot about the key switch. Well, I was going to do a startup video, but I don't think it's going to happen. Why? Because I tried to like redo the hookup here for the key switch, and I got it wrong. Because now I turn the key off. It don't turn off. But I didn't fry the coil, so I'm good. At least I don't think I did. But anyways, here's the craftsman. Um, well, I guess that's my video. Yeah, here's where we also like to do our fabricating, too. We do... Oh, come on, you know. We do welding and stuff down here now, because we have this area, and it's ventilated with that fan up there. So, uh, also that's the remnants of the Cup Cadet 123. It was really beat up, and if you just look there, you can see there, there's rust. Lots of rust. Also, we have a Cup Cadet 128, um, right here. We bought this off eBay with a bad exhaust valve in the seat that basically shattered. This is the Bones 1250. It needs a lot of work and it would cost me, well actually cost my dad, $150 to get that. Disaster. That's its hood that someone poorly painted red and that's its fenders that someone also painted poorly red. It's the Toro 26 snowblower as you saw in other very low quality, very badly lighted videos. And the snow cab in the Honda conversion is done. And thankfully, I don't have to use it anymore this year. But this snowblower works nice. It just needs drivetrain work. It, the friction disc is shot because it's 40 years old. Well, anyways, I guess this is just a general update video instead of just a, well, craftsman video, but eh, whatever. So, oh, yeah, I guess I should put that, too. What we have over here that is now leaking oil on the floor because it needs seals. It's a Cup Cadet 149 garden tractor. As you can tell... My dad likes Cub Cadets pretty clearly, because he has so many of them. Anyways, this Cub Cadet 149, as you can see, it's a work in progress right now. Um, I know the rear end needs to be fixed. It features a what I call a 13-horse Kohler engine, because uh, it's a 12-horse block that's been oversized with a 14-horse flywheel and shrouds. Also, if you look there, that is not the stock like setup here. Where, uh, the wheels put on, that's actually a trailer rim, the same on this side. Uh, it has hydraulic steering. So I can do an example here. Also, it's kind of perilous to actually, you know, start the thing up right now. That's where you have to reach in to turn it on, because a little metal piece that goes in there for the key switch is missing. We don't know where it went. We had it, and just don't know where. So yeah, I guess my dad has to suck up and buy one because we can't find one. It's kind of stupidly expensive. If you look up. It's not on right now, but if you kind of turn it, you can see it will move the wheels a bit. Oh, oops. Anyways, it does work. It's just, yeah, you can see it moving a bit there. Oh, well, I guess this is my update video.